Hello crafters, welcome to Creates at Home with G and today's video. I've got quite a few messages um, via Facebook and emails asking me to do a whimsical Poundland inspired or pound, mainly Poundland items table scape, um, how to lay out a table for Easter spring. Um, I'm going to do a two person setting, but you could just, um, what I've done with these two, you could just create for another uh, four or two or depending on how many people you're having for uh, your Easter lunch. Uh, my, my table does extend um, so at the moment it's shrunk to its smaller size. Um, one thing that I really like from Poundland this year and I warn you crafters it does shed so give it a good shake when you buy it and you take it out of its uh, wrapping and that's this new Easter table runner. It's 25 centimeters by 75 centimeters um, and it's this faux lawn, this faux grass, um, and I thought it was really cute, really, really cute. So I brought multiples because I've got some for my stash. So that's one for my stash, I don't need that one. Um, so I'm gonna put the one down that I've already opened up, and I'm going to have this, so it's slightly to the, towards the back, because obviously for video purposes it makes it easier that way. So I'm going to put that on my table making sure it's in the center more or less. Now I've got two white round dinner plates, which I'm going to be using. Um, if you've got more festive themed plates, then use those. And then what I've done is I have got, I cut one of the table runners in half, folded it lengthways in half, cut it. Um, as you can see, this isn't the full length. And then I've cut it to measure. Let me just give you a rough, oh, I don't have a tape measure down here. Yes, I do. Um, just to get, just to uh, I'll give you a rough measurement of what I've created here, and these measure 19 and a half by five. Actually, let me give you the inch measurements while I'm here. That's 29 inches by uh, nine and a half. So we are going to place. I didn't shake these ones out, so these are shedding. Right. So we have got the dining plate and then I'm going to put this over the dining plate and so it comes off the table slightly and the same here oh my gosh this stuff really does shed that's a hoover this floor and then I went on the search for two days after work last week um, and went to TK Maxx because they had some egg shaped plates that I wanted but all that all that Easter stuff's on sale so it's all gone. I don't know if you can see Daisy but my, my little Daisy's down here. Daisy you gonna say hello to everybody? Say hello. Say hello everyone. Hello from Daisy. This is my lovely miniature Jack Russell. Right off you go. Well she's the family's actually. Um, so I walked into uh, Wilkinson's, which is Wilco, I apologise, and I found this range that they're actually stocking year round. And this is their side plates, and to me they look like eggs. Um, I forgot to add, uh, show you these in my Wilco haul, um, but these are from Wilco. So I'm, I'm going to put those on top of those, but before I do that, I'm going to use some of the... Hoppy Easter, and now these are 24 napkins that you can get in Poundland, and it says Hoppy Easter. So I'm going to take two of those out. And we are going to create bunny ears. Now, this version is very, very simple. A, a child could do this probably. Um, but what we're going to do is, I'm, I'm just going to work over here because I've got things here. So, I'm going to open it up and then from the corner I'm going to scrunch it. Scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it. And that gives me two floppy bunny ears. So with that I'm going to place that at the top here and then place the plate on top. So do the same thing with the second one. I think Daisy's confused to who I'm talking to. She keeps coming over and looking at me. 
Right, so, that's, so that acts as my bunny ears, and the egg plate acts as the face. Now, I'm, while it's not Easter, I was thinking of using this, um, this trough here, which is available from Poundland, and I've just cut some of the fake grass and inlaid it. And on the front it says, Herb Garden, Rosemary, Thyme and Basil. So while it's not being used for Easter, I was going to put that in there, use some of the straws that you can get from um, Poundlands. So you've got the orange and stripe, and then you've got the orange and white stripe. So I pop some of those into a yellow mug that I got from Poundlands. Um, cylinder vase which I got from Asda and it was two pounds and I'm just going to fill that up using these bags of eggs um, so it says Easter egg hunt and you get one two three four five six seven eight nine about ten approximately so pop those in here Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine or ten. So I've got two packs of those. We're just going to cut this up. And I'm going to pop that in there. I'm just going to have the other ones just lay in the bottom. So I can have that on the table while it's not Easter. But while it is Easter, and for a centerpiece, excuse me if you saw my bottom there, crafters, I apologize. I'm going to use this yellow, and it's kind of a, a picket fence style, and I put a riser in there, and I put in some of this uh, faux, this shredded paper. So I'm gonna put that there, and this is one of their Easter baskets. And then from um, TK Maxx, um, I, I showed you in a haul, this gorgeous, rather large, 10 inch, moss covered, grass covered rabbit. So I'm going to pop him on the top there with a few of the uh, raffia wrapped carrots. Now Poundland do do some um, carrots and I'm going to show you those now. And they do this size. And um, where is my tape measure and I can show you the tell you the measurement what did I do with the tape measure crafters tell me what did I do with it okay here it is and these measure with including the uh, the greenery they measure about three and a half inches so if you want to just use pound lined items you can do that I will sh I will show you um, one of the bunny rabbits that are stocked in pound land so bear with me Poundland stock these rabbits. Now they're actually hairs because of the size there is, but they are beautifully distressed. And all I've done is wrapped some uh, raffia twine around its neck. But if you wanted, you could paint these white, you could paint them any color that suits your decor. But if you didn't want to have something like that, you could maybe place these on the uh, on the, um, the runner and use some of the carrots. So then it would definitely be kind of Poundland theme. So you've got that option. Um, but as I say, I'm going to I'm going to keep the uh, the large one here. I will have some of the carrots on the table runner. I've also got these um, toadstools, these mushrooms, which are also from Poundland. So I'm going to put those on there. And then from my local my, my uh, recent trip to Asda. Um, I'm going to use these tiny little uh, bunnies and they are flocked and they're really soft and they're f they, they came with a green hanging ribbon. So I'm just going to pop those on there. And then I've got these daisies from my store. 
these little white and yellow daisies. So I'm just going to pop a few of those there. Poundland does sell artificial flowers, but they don't have any daisies at the moment. Um, but you can, get, you can get them from my store or, or alternative places. And then I'm going to pop some of these glittered eggs. Now you can get these from Poundland as well. So I'm going to put a few of these glittered eggs just all over the, uh, the table runner. Now, as it's kind of a place setting, um, they do a set of two white ceramic egg cups in Poundland. And all I've done is I've put some moss in there. And with one of the carrots, I've just cut it, cut it down slightly. And then I will have that under and sticking out of the moss so it looks like it's growing out of it and if you have a black pen chalk pen maybe maybe you could write the name of the person so you can have that sitting there and the moss is also stocked at um, Poundland so I'll literally just took out some moss popped it into the um, egg cup Cut one of the, the um, Poundland carrots down in size, so it looks like it's growing out of the soil. And you can have it on this side, or this side, or in front, so it's completely up to you. And then I'm just going to add a few of these foam artificial moss covered rocks, just because. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to give your carrot, I mean your bunny a nose, you could put a daisy on the front. You could put one of the faux carrots on the plate. There's so many different ideas. So there is a whimsical kind of table theme, table setting. So I'm just going to bring my camera down Crawford so you can see it better. crafters i think it looks really nice really whimsical really cute and fun and um thank you very much for joining me and you will see me very soon take care now bye bye